Hello and welcome to another part of my quest system series. In today's episode we will do two things. We will start with implementing the ability for our player to light out our quest list when he doesn't want to see it and afterwards we will create a function to complete sub goals. To slide out our quest list we first need an animation for that. So let's go to our widgets folder, to the main widget and here hit that little plus animation button to create a new one. Let's call that slide out, double click and we will select our quest list size box and keyframe the position in X. Then we'll move our slider to something like 0.75 seconds. Again hit the keyframe button and type in something like 520 just so that we move that out of the canvas. Then again hit the keyframe button and now you can see that we created some kind of slide out animation. Let's compile, save, close the main widget and directly reopen it. Then we will select the quest size box, set the position in X to 520 by default. So when we receive our first quest, we can play that slide out animation reverse to slide it in. Also let's go to the graph and create a boolean called slide out question marks. So did we play that animation recently or not? The default value of that will be true since we set that position in X to 520 and you can not see the size box currently. Then we can compile, save and close the main widget since we'll need an input for that now. Let's go to our third person character for that and somewhere right click and search for the key you want to use. I will just use the B key. So when we hit B let's get our main widget, get the quest widgets, get the length of that, so the amount of quests that we currently have and check whether that's greater or equal to 1. We will add a branch for that. If not, means that we have no element in our quest list currently, so we cannot play that animation. But if we have something in there, we will copy over the main widget and search for is animation playing. Now we will need to specify an animation to check for and that will be the slide out animation. Let's add a branch for that, so we'll see if we're already playing that animation. If so, we will just drag off of the slide off animation and call reverse animation. The target will be the main widget. And afterwards, copy over the main widget and set slide out, so a boolean, to the opposite of what it is currently. So we'll also get the slide out boolean and negate that with a not boolean. Then connect that here. But if our animation is not playing, Again drag off of the main widget and search for play animation. The in animation will be the slide out animation. And now for the play mode we will have to get the slide out boolean. And we will add a select node. Connect that return value to the play mode. So if slide out is true means that we have to play it reverse to slide back in and if not we will play it forward. After we play that animation we also have to modify our slide out boolean so connect that here. Then we can select all of that, add a comment, press B to slide in slash out the quest list, pile and save. Then we'll also want to slide in our quest list if we receive a new one, so our player can see that. To do that we will go to our actors, BP Quest Manager, and to the add new quest function. Here at the very end we will drag in the main widget, get the slide out boolean, 
and a branch for that. Connect that to the select new quest and also to the false path of the last branch. If slide out is false, meaning that our quest list is already visible, we'll just return. But if not, copy over the main widget and play animation. For the animation, get the slide out animation. Connect that here. The play mode will be reversed since we want to slide it in. And afterwards, we will set the slide out boolean to false. Then we can return and check the success here. Compile and save. Let's hit play. And let's get the quest from our NPC here. Press E. You can see that slide it in. If we hit B, it slides out. And if we hit B again, it slides in. Just how we want it to work. Now let's continue with creating a function that is called when we complete a certain sub goal. To do that, we will go to our actors, quest actors, and the BP master quest. First off, let's create a new variable here called completed sub goals. Type for that will be goal info. Make that an array. We'll also put it in our do not touch category to keep things organized. Compile and save. Then let's add a new function called complete sub goal. It will have an input of the type integer which will be the sub goal index and an output type boolean called success question mark first let's promote that sub goal index to a local variable called local goal index afterwards we will drag in our current goal indices and check whether that contains the local goal index so basically check whether the index that we want to complete is one of our current goals. Let's add a branch for that. Because if that's not the case, we won't be able to do anything, so just return with false. But if that is one of our current indices, we will first get the quest info. So under quest information, drag in the quest info. Break that. Let's move that up. Expand it, and from our sub goals, we will get at the local goal index. Promote that to a local variable called local completed goal. Afterwards, let's drag in the completed sub goals array that we just created and add to it because we will then add the local completed sub goal. Also drag in the current goals and here we will remove an item which is the local completed goal. Afterwards get the current goal indices. Here we will try to find the local goal index and promote that to a local variable called local widget index because that will be the index for the sub goal widget in our sub goal widgets array. Afterwards, we will remove an element from our current sub goal indices, remove item, and that will be the local goal index. Then let's drag in the quest widget, get its sub goal widgets. get from that at the local widget index to get the sub goal widget for the completed sub goal because we will then remove that from parent afterwards we'll drag off of the sub goal widgets and remove index the index will be the local widget index connect that here and then we'll also have to worry about following sub goals so drag in the local completed goal, break it, expand it, and we will go into a for each loop for 
the following sub goal indices for all sub goal indices that should be added now we will add them to our current goal indices add an element connect the array element not the array index drag in our quest info break that expand it and get from our sub goals add the array element as an index because that will be added to our current goals afterwards we'll need to create a widget for that so create widget class will be sub goal widget the goal info comes from our get node here assigned quest will be self and the quest widget can be our quest widget reference afterwards let's copy over the quest widget get the sub goal widgets and add the return value of our create sub goal widget node to that then let's get the sub goal box and add a child connect the return value of our create sub goal node create the add to the add child and that's it for our for each loop now sometimes it might be the case that you complete a quest that you also have selected as the current sub goal then we'll have to select a different sub goal to do that we will check whether the local goal index equals the selected sub goal index at a branch and connect that to the completed of our for each loop now if that's not the case we can just return with successful but if it is we'll drag in our quest widget and select sub goal for this clicked sub goal we will just get our sub goal widgets and get the first element so get at index 0 and connect that to the click sub goal then we can also return with successful okay that's it for our function compile and save it we'll also need to call that somewhere just for debugging purposes so let's go to our third person character somewhere add another key maybe the J key when we hit J get the quest manager reference the quest actors get from that at index 0 so the first element check whether that's valid if not we won't do anything but if so we will call complete sub goal and just leave that at index 0 now we can compile save playtest if we get the quest from our robo it slides in if we hit J hunt dragons disappears and find the hidden treasure is then selected or we can also do is play again get a quest again select a different one maybe talk to Legolas then hit J all of the quests move up since one was removed and talk to Legolas is still selected if we want to set up following sub goals we can also do that now let's go to our test quest 1 down here go to the starting sub goal indices because we will just remove all of the elements and then only add one which is zero and let's go to our sub goal zero expand that and give that three following sub goal indices one two and three so when we complete our first sub goal all of the other three are available then let's hit play get our quest hunt dragons if we hit j the other three appear okay that's it for this video see you in the next one